So let's focus one moment to the last point of uh, uh, the previous slides. Uh, how do we define uh, essentialness? Essentialness can be defined in several ways, but we will take a very, again, a very narrow uh, interpretation of, of these words. And we define a resource, a uh, input factor, and in particular, in this case, a natural resource uh, are uh, essential if and only if, whenever in a, uh, production functions that depend of k and r, this output is equal to zero when we set uh, uh, r equal also to zero, whatever any positive value of k is. So whenever we have a uh, production functions that depend of k and r, and this production is equal to zero when we set are equal to zero, irresponsibly, irrespectively of, of k, we define r uh, to be essential. And to see if this is true, it depends on the possibility available uh, to the society in terms of uh, production. It is um, the specific forms and we'll see eventually the parameters of the production functions that define if uh, an input and in particular natural resources is essential or not. So if we take the Crop Douglas production functions, a very widely used production functions that is written in this term. So Q equal to uh, a constant A that multiplied the level of capital rises to alpha, multiplied by the level of natural resources rises to beta. And we see that both R and K are uh, uh, essential because if we set any of them to zero, whatever the other one is, we have end up with a Q equal to, to zero. Instead, if we take a constant elasticity of substitution production functions, and this is uh, its form, well, we can notice that really here depends on the parameter. So if the parameter uh, theta is uh, below zero, no input is uh, essential. Why this one? Because if this one is equal to, to, to zero, so this is minus uh, to something that is, minus, that is minus again, so this is positive, and uh, if this one is equal to zero, okay, this one all go to zero, and uh, you can use, you can have something positive given by this, uh, this term here, uh, or, or the opposite, but if this one is positive, here, you have something negative, so you have uh, basically 1 over k raised to uh, theta, and uh, if this one uh, goes to 0, this is not defined. But the most uh, interesting aspect here is that we can relate the concept of uh, essentialness to the elasticity of uh, substitution uh, sigma. In fact, indeed, uh, theta is, uh, you can substitute theta in the constant elasticity of substitution functions with one minus uh, sigma over sigma, where sigma is uh, exactly the elasticity of uh, uh, substitution. And uh, what is telling here is that when the elasticity of substitutions is uh, big enough, no input is essential. While if the elasticity of substitution is below one, all inputs, and in particular we are interested in natural resources, become essential for the level of production. So what is the elasticity of substitution? So in general, elasticity of uh, something A with respect with something else B means the relative change in A over a relative change in B. So sigma as elasticity is nothing else than the ratio between the two relative change. It tells us how much something change in percents when uh, you change the other variable of 1% unit. And uh, one uh, very simple uh, uh, example is the elasticity 
of the demand with respect to the price. So for example, if this is minus five, what does it mean? It means that when we increase the price of 1%, the demand reduce of 5% because there is a negative sign. So if for example, we take this uh, inverse demand function here, inverse because we are representing P on this axis and the quantity on this axis here. And I'm asking you, which is the elasticity of this demand function? Well, elasticity is a relative change in A over a relative change in B. So here is equal to dP over P, the relative change in price, over the relative change in Q, dQ over Q. We can rearrange this one to get it a little bit more simple. dP over dQ that multiply Q over P. And this one is the first derivative. So if you take a level here 2 and 6, we say that in this point here, the elasticity of this uh, demand function is equal to minus one, that is uh, dP over dQ, multiplied by two over six. So it's equal to minus one third. But if you go here, in this point here, the elasticity is equal to minus one by six over two equal to minus three. So you can see that actually the elasticity is not uh, constant. Even if it is a linear function, the derivative remains constant, but the elasticity uh, uh, change. And it is only so, like for a simple derivative, elasticity normally changes across functions. It's only under special constant elasticity functions that it remain uh, indeed a constant uh, among uh, the domain of the independent variable. So, uh, under the second kind of function we saw in the previous slides that the elasticity remain constants. So this is in general elasticity. What is an elasticity of a substitution? So in particular the elasticity of substitution is nothing else than a elasticity where uh, we change uh, we a we consider as uh, the first uh, variable that change the ratio of the quantities and uh, as the second uh, variables that we consider is the ratio in the price so it means you the proportional change in the ratio of uh, two variables in response to a change in the relative price so in here is a example of uh, consumptions so what we do is, uh, it means when we are changes the ratio in their price. So we are, for example, increasing a little bit the price of the first item. What happened in consumption in their level of consumption? So is because we are increasing a bit the price of the first variable, the ratio of the price go down a lot because everyone now going to the other uh, item or uh, this one after all doesn't change much. So we can see that when the elasticity of substitution is equal to zero, it means that doesn't matter 
which is the ratio in the price. What happens to the ratio of the price? We can increase a lot the price of the first item. Still, the two goods are consumed in exactly the same ratio. And the one example here is uh, computer monitors and the computer uh, CPU. This is maybe is a little bit old. Now there are laptops. But another example is, uh, is the, the shoes. You have uh, right shoes and uh, left shoes. It doesn't matter if you, you, uh, if you are going to make uh, right shoes uh, cheaper and cheaper. Still, people will need to buy them in exactly the same uh, ratio. On the other hand, we have uh, when this one is, is infinite, when the elasticity of substitution is infinite, we have a perfect level of substitutions. That means that this two price must be the same because as soon as increase this one even very little bit nobody is going to buy me anymore x1 everybody is going instead to do x2 because x1 and x2 are exactly the same so they must be in the same uh, having the same uh, the same price and this is a bit of marketing why many companies try to differentiate their products because if their product is homogeneous they cannot increase their price they cannot get value out of uh, that product because as they try to increase a bit the price everyone go to the cheaper one so in order to extract value from a product you first need to differentiate it and of course these two cases are uh, the extreme one uh, most goods are uh, always somewhere uh, in an intermediate situation in this case i take uh, uh, sugar and uh, sweetener for some people they are more or less the same some people prefer the sweetener some people prefer prefer the sugar so in the reality goods are always somewhere intermediate more or less toward uh, these two extremes so i started with uh, uh, elasticity of substitution in in the consumption side because it is uh, maybe simple to understand but the exact uh, concept we can have in the uh, production side so for uh, two production functions the elasticity uh, of uh, substitution measure how much the ratio of their uh, employment change in relative terms when the relative price change. So we can use it to measure the proportional change in the ratio of capital to non-renewable resources used in response to a change in the relative price to the resource to capital. What we say here is that now our production factors are uh, the natural resource and, and, and the capital. What happens when the price of the natural resource increase? So more, the, the idea is that more the natural resource becomes scarce, more its price increase. And here really we can see that this elasticity of substitution is very important because if we have a response in terms of usage, it means that we can substitute easily the natural resource with, with capital. And so we will have much less problems to attain the sustainable development than a situation where the natural resource is really unique in the production function. You cannot really substitute with, with uh, something else. And even if uh, its price go very, very high, the employment ratio, its employment ratio remain constant. So when the elasticity of substitution is infinite, I can always substitute an amount of a natural resource by a, an equal amount of, 
of capital. I can do if I am here or I can do if I am here. These lines are uh, uh, called isoquants and are the lines where the quantity is constant. So what is uh, the amount of quantity produced here with this amount of R and this amount uh, pardon, of K? So whatever is produced here is exactly the same as what is produced here or here or here, so it remains constant. And we can see that we can always substitute R for K, R for K. In a normal situation, we are more somewhere in a curve like this one. So if we are here, we can see that we can substitute this amount of natural resources with this amount of K, okay? So relatively little amount of K can substitute for a large amount of natural resources. But if you are already somewhere like here, but we are already using very little of R and a lot of K, well, here become more hard to substitute uh, the natural resource. So to substitute this amount of natural resource, we need to employ a lot more of capital compared with uh, this situation. Finally, if you are in a situation like in this curve here, it's called the Leontief production functions, where the elasticity of substitution is equal to zero, we can see that there is no way if we are here and we move here, there is no way that we can compensate with, with K for this decrease in uh, natural resource. We are going to a lower amount of uh, production.